So Rebecca asked me to give this talk, and it was announced as to TBA. So it's either going to be the best or the b the bad approach to to do such a talk, to perform in such a talk. Okay. So uh, and and indeed, I had a problem. I mean, what should I do? A technical technical talk about the hard problem. It's easy, but uh, perspective, I don't know. It either either past perspective with introspection and or or, or future vi vision is hard and it's hard to talk about so you know and privacy is hard and industry is hard so talking on privacy from industry perspective it's hard but you know i try to do a job here so of course industry is the big violation violators of uh, everything it shares a lot of data, either <coughs> in companies or between companies. At least this is the, the perception. And the, many, many privacy talks start by, you know, this is done and this should not be done, uh, and so on. But uh, when there is sharing, there is a need for, for, for privacy. Yes, this is obvious. And uh, let me, so I decided to, to, to start uh, this talk by, by uh, describing my, my, my encounter with privacy. So, so I two early 2007, I had a, an interview in Google, and uh, they decided uh, to skip the usual talk, the usual questions of asking me how many steps uh, binary search will take. <laughs> And uh, and and uh, and instead of this, they ask me uh, a little bit uh, uh, kind of uh, customized questions. So I was asked to describe uh, uh, a privacy system uh, in the in the context of what I thought Google is, uh, and 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 uh, and I think I took it seriously. I took uh, I took some time, and I I, I drew. Uh, 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 what I thought that should be, and then I spent almost nine years actually uh, performing along this uh, chart. So uh, I started by saying, okay, privacy, it's the data stupid. Uh, data is collected, st stored, manipulated, uh, processed, shared, and so on, and uh, so I decided to kind of think, think in architectural terms. And uh, I, I gave a solution. I'll show you. I mean, and I changed the terms. The terms, the the, tame, the terms were, were were changed, and also what need what needs to be done changed. I called it. Uh, for example, I call. I, I I I remember. I said, "Oh, we need over time to do data degradation." And, you know, it became anonymization. So, but but this is the gist of it. But you know it. Now it's kind of uh, maybe trivial, but uh, remember this: this is 2007, and uh, uh, internet companies were not really aware of privacy. Uh, the sentiment in Google was that everybody loves Google and nobody cares what Google does. You know, and privacy was kind of UFO. Maybe the F was not even flying. Okay. Okay, so so uh, what I said is, you know, we need layers, and we need to think about it uh, as layers. So uh, there, there are users there that you serve, so there must be a user layer because user people are always part of the system. Uh, I knew that from from school. Uh, so uh, you need to present to the user. At least you know you have certain policies that you you apply. The user uh, has to know about it. Later, it became transparency and control of of the privacy issues and, and the human aspects of, of of privacy. And of course, then there are applications. There are primarily applications that that. Uh, Perform in the context of the internet. It interacts with users, interacts with other agents, and, and and it collects data. And then there is storage, what you what you retain for longer time, longer term. So, 
so you need backups and, and things like this. So you, you, you keep data, so you need to treat it in a, in a special way. And then you do processing, interactions between the, the applications and, and with, the, with the data that move to secondary applications. You know, nowadays the, the most talk about, talked about uh, application may be learning. You, you collect big data and then you perform learning on it based on models and so on. And, and this is secondary, but you know, and each processing has its own exposure to, 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 to privacy because you, you, you believe that you, you, you process data and you answer queries, but this is the, 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 first, the first thing that people learn about the database uh, privacy is that you know, with, with intersecting queries, you, you can find individual values and so on. Almost, uh, I also knew that from, from school. So, uh, and then in the context of internet, there is sharing. That's a core of uh, internet computing and internet business. You share data with, pub with the public, uh, internally with other companies, uh, and even external bodies, you know, the government can go to court and ask for your data. So it's very important, this, this, this sharing. The word inter means sharing, yeah, it's a sharing, shared net, so the data is shared. And then in each layer you need uh, different methods, and I kind of outlined uh, what I think uh, needs to be done uh, in the various areas, whatever I call them, and then I also uh, outline that there are cross layers functions like deployment uh, plans, how to deal with employees, you know, employees access to the data, incident handling, something goes wrong, you have to be ready, you know, bad things always happen. Uh, if, if they don't claim that, it, uh, that you have privacy and then it will happen. Uh, and we need supporting technologies like access control, <coughs> crypto, and statistical methods. And of course, we have the legal uh, policy, PR, and all these issues. And these are kind of uh, go across. And uh, you have to take care of them because they are part of privacy. Because privacy has to do with damages due to sharing, let's say, or wrong sharing, and, and then how you handle it. And you have to handle it along many many ways. So uh, what tools we had at the time? Uh, well, differential privacy was very young, just came to being, and so are notions like anonymity and diversity about uh, disclosure of data. Um, Cryptography, we had uh, always, uh, by that time, we had uh, crypto APIs and, and uh, we have legal uh, settings for, for, for companies like licenses and so on, and NDAs. And by that time, we already had some visible privacy violation incidents. And then what do we have now? Uh, OK, we know more about differential privacy. We advanced a lot on, 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 on the incidents. We have collected many more incidents. And uh, you, know, you may think it's a joke. No, but incidents actually uh, teach us uh, what to do or what not to do. Uh, crypto, which was thought about as a kind of uh, shielded uh, layer that is immune to all attacks if implemented correctly, even this was not was found to be uh, wrong over the years, uh, except for the theory of crypto, which uh, continues to to advance at a fantastic uh, rate, and we know much more uh, about. Uh, uh, theoretical cons constructs and and, and 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 more primitives and so and so on on the theoretical side. So let me just uh, finish the the uh, the personal, but it's not it's not just personal, but it's like uh, the work that uh, has been done over the years, just to 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 show you. The, just to demonstrate uh, 
how uh, a typical uh, 10 years work in industry on, on one aspect look like. So, uh, so of course, private privacy is very important, and uh, people looked at it. And, uh, and uh, what we have done is, is, is a number of teams. So first of all, uh, the Google dashboard that it's now the Google uh, um, uh, Account Central, it's the user layer. It was uh, quite. Uh, uh, revolutionary at the time that the users can uh, see what data is kept in their account and they can even manipulate it to their according to their wish so this was uh, suggested and implemented uh, application anonymization of data uh, has been done many in many places uh, and when at least when uh, I implemented it, it, it was using uh, strong cryptographic methods to, to, to hide uh, the sensitive uh, data like PII, uh, both in the application layers, in the log layers. That's the long-term ter long data that is kept. Uh, data collection, you heard in this workshop about uh, the Google research team, what they did with, uh, with Rapport and implemented it in Chrome. Uh, but also things like sampling and, uh, and, and, and uh, collecting information and just bucketing it or rounding it and, 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 and keeping it uh, with enough, supposedly enough noise or supposedly uh, um, trying to uh, emulate uh, differential privacy has been done. Data anonymization, aggregating data, keeping just uh, statistical values, or or doing uh, or or, or uh, obscuring the data in in a sense over the over time, so you don't need the entire data, and uh, and so dropping some of the data and. Uh, and uh, reporting with delays, introducing uh, statist delay. So if somebody is trying to see what's going on now because they can influence the real world, you take, you take uh, data at another window of time, not, not necessarily, let's say, you randomize the window of time or something like this, and you report statistics. And it's good enough, but it doesn't really include everything. So there are, there are methods that, in a way, they emulate uh, 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 differential privacy in some sense. Of course, I worked on sharing uh, uh, between applications. So you, my main concentration was protocols for sharing in data, cryptographic protocols, and protocols with trusted parties. Uh, not not necessarily not necessarily uh, non cryptographic, but the cryptography is easier when you have trusted parties, and when you don't have trusted parties, you really need to do more sophisticated secure computing protocols. And I also interacted with, uh, let's say, uh, privacy authorities. Uh, with legal, uh, business, and policy, and so on, because uh, they are there. They are in the picture, and this has to be done. So this kind of life of, uh, this is the life of uh, privacy research R&D uh, person over the years. And, and, and this, these are things that, that uh, are being done. Uh, so, reflecting on this, most of the techniques are ad hoc, and most of the requirements of regulators are ad hoc as well. Of course, nobody will object if you tell them, oh, I do this collection with differential privacy, but they will not object if you do it in, in another way. Um, So what you what you really read in this uh, uh, 
documents coming from regulators or directives that come from from organizations that try to to re uh, regulate and, and 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 control how privacy is done you hear things like you know separate primary goals from other goals so you can collect data do your primary goal but when you the data is doing the secondary goal it has to be treated separately so anonymize it or something like this sample part of the data so that this appears in 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 uh, many documents add some noise of course erase pii you know sensitive data get rid of it anonymize aggregate uh, avoid small groups this is thresholds uh, limit access to non-anonymized data or pseudonymized data or plain data uh, have contractual limitations in place. This is very, very, uh, this is like trying to do administration of what needs to be done. And this is very much kind of bookkeeping, kind of what uh, accountant rules in some sense. Eliminate, like eliminate sensitive data. Well, you know, it's a rule, but what, what do you do with it? Anonymize, how? By some deterministic hash? Is this really anonymization? You know. Introduce time, time delay. How, how, how do you introduce time delay if it's not randomized? Does it help? It may help that you will get what you want with delay, but you'll still get it if you are attacking. Okay? So this is what done in the field, and uh, all these methods are, are, um, are such that there are cases uh, that they will not work, and these are the, 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 the attacks. There are many cases when there is side, enough side information that can defeat all this. And uh, and of course there are cases in which they will they will work and then and then uh, obviously access control limitation and contractual limitation on, on on using the data they help in in in, in avoiding avoiding uh, the attack but they are not really uh, satisfying in any scientific. Uh, scientifically interesting way. I mean, you, you just uh, you create this small village environment and then uh, artificially that you, you know that people can violate it and, 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 and violate it and refute that they have violated. So that's important. I mean, if, if you can run a contract technically and, and monitor it that it's really being followed, that's something else. That's a challenge. So these methods in general, if, if we are dealing with some huge amount of statistics that even drop some of, of it or do partial statistics and, and report the flu map of what Google published, of course it's, it's, uh, it's private. You, you will not find in it whether I, ha I got the flu or not, <laughs> even if you know where I live and, and everything. Yes. Uh, on the other hand, open anonymized data, these methods will not work, like uh, the, um, the attacks, the Netflix attack, the AOL incident, and so on. They demonstrated that these are cases that simply there, there is enough, enough side information. So side channels are very important in the area of, of privacy. Uh, the area of ads and business, where, where the money is, um, this is a gray area. Users feel uncomfortable. Like you, you, you see that somehow you are served ads that depends on your, on your, what you've been doing on the internet, and, uh, and this doesn't feel right. You don't know whether it's okay or not okay, but you know the feeling is not good, and that's already uh, bad from a from a privacy point of view. Um, I always tell people, you know, 
this is being done, but you know, this is being done by data that is collected, and there is a program like a robot which directs ads to you, and it's all automatic, and nobody knows about you really. No human knows about you. Do you feel okay or not okay? It's a good question. And there is like legal framework that, that prevent actually anybody from knowing it. And of course the answer that I get, yeah, but if the government comes and they want access to the data, they can learn. So there are uh, extreme cases that if you don't do the, the work on the data itself, but it's the, frame, the framework around it, then it can be violated. Okay, so this is the engineering, and then the last bullet is, you know, what do you want? There's no theory or analysis of the, of the practice. There's no, there's no background, there's no way to, to, to do better if you don't have, uh, if you don't have uh, ways to quantify and to measure. So, for me, as a scientist, the state of the art is insufficient. And well, what are the problems? So first, I think the notion of privacy is not well defined, or, or a few notions of privacy are not always well defined. The goals, especially when it comes to, to the utility that you want to extract from collecting the data and, and processing it, is not always clear. Uh, attacks shows, show us uh, issues, as I said, but, but, uh, but you know, we, we, these are typically extreme cases. It's not, it's something from, you know, you have a problem in the, in the system, you show it, but many systems, they work and, and people have access to, to the internal workings and, and it looks fine. <laughs> And um, I'm sure you, you heard uh, Adam spoke about differential privacy, that you know, it's not implemented and how do you de define parameters and so on. There are issues. What is the meaning of epsilon privacy? What, do you, what, is, what epsilon do you choose? You know, what tools you use? If it's not implemented in a, in a way that I can use it, does it exist for, for, for engineer? Okay, so um, so these are issues, and the, you know there are similar issues in in, in, in other cases. When you, in, in your contract, how do how do you how do you how do you limit? How do you make sure that you really limit in a way that uh, it provides privacy, but 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 allows the, the utility? Okay. There's no clear trade-off of utility to privacy. In, in, in many engineering areas, in optimization, you know, we run a, a program, we know how to optimize, and we have a, usually a trade-off curve between, you know, optimizing for A or optimizing for B, and, and then we we, we come with a policy, external policy, where we want to, to sit on this curve. How can we compromise one side uh, versus the other? But here, there is no theory, there is no foundation, there is not like game theoretic plateau with which to, to do this, uh, this, this trade off. There is no uh, information theoretic uh, quantification of, of utility, especially that you collect data and you start processing, uh, and you may change the processing over time. So what's the inherent value of, of, of the data from an information theoretic point of view, regardless of future processing? Can we do it? For, 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 I'm not, and of course, I'm not talking immediately to, to attack this notion in general, but, but on concrete examples to start with. Um, Using economics uh, as a design tool, the cost of privacy, if it's lost, how much do, do I lose? Not, not every loss is like, like have to be you lose everything. 
can you quantify it? And when all this is lacking in the, th on the theoretical side, with all the progress of the, of the last 10 years, all this is still lacking. So you come to engineers and you tell them, you know, what you suggest is not good. Okay, you suggested hash, I will change it with a kid, hash, mac, and I will keep the key somewhere. You know, this, this I can do. But I, but, but when it comes to the, to understanding the data and what to store or not to store, you know, the engineer come back and, and tells me, you know, I have no way to, to do. So you start intuitive methods and then it's like who, who, who is doing a, who is doing a, a better job and not, and, and, and then the, the less we have on the, on, the, on the analytic side, the more we are susceptible to, to policies and desires and whims of, of, of business and so on. Because we, don't have, we cannot shield uh, the notion of privacy with uh, no concrete uh, theoretical or, or analytic tool that says, okay, here is a theory, here it, this is the way it applies to our case, and this is an approximate that at least tells me to work here. If I don't have this, then people say, ah, oh, you know, the, take all of it because who knows what the business want. And, you know, I'm standing there and I have no answer. But uh, this thing takes time. It's not the fault of the field. The field is young, it, 10 years. I think, uh, like you saw in the last uh, talk, that uh, how uh, uh, cryptographic protocols that also help in privacy, of course, uh, have been uh, developed. And this is a field of 40 years, and the first applications are just uh, coming out. It took 40 years. It, it, first it had to be with theory, and then the, 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 the state of computing has to, to adapt to the, to the need. So there was the internet and the sharing, and the, and the sharing that you cannot share, but you need to share in order to get things done. So then finally there, was, there are real needs. So we need to understand, as I said, uh, the information theoretic aspects, the cryptographic aspects, uh, and the uh, trade-offs. Typically, scientists are good at achieving something 100%. We know how to quantify semantic security, saying this is secure. But when there are trade-offs, what is what is 70% privacy? What is 70% security? It's much harder to do. Okay, and I'm not saying there are no initial implementations, but without serious tools, without serious APIs that will allow privacy mm -hmm. engineers to, to work with, and the, the people that are, are doing regulation to formalize best practices, uh, this will uh, will be hard, and and now it's my my personal view. I view the the in computer science theoretical areas. I view them as pure theory, the concepts that come from uh, math and, and 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 basic understanding of computation, then applications which are so designs of the algorithms, the theoretical algorithms in a more refined way, taking into account uh, actual time, space, communication, and other resources. Then there, are the, then there is a layer of tools, which are standard APIs, implementation. And then there's the final layer, which is concrete engineering, which is plug those solution in, actually, in actual products. OK? And, uh, the main thing to, to doing all these four layers and going all the way to concrete implementation is that there is a, a practical framework based on theory or at least based on analytics or quantification, okay? So what I advocate here is scientific approach to concrete engineering issues. 
and 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 uh, we have the start of it but and i believe it will take time time is needed and uh i will i will uh, i will just uh, remind you my opinion that is shared by by some people that Security is a fundamental problem, but of a secondary importance. And, and this sounds like contradiction in term, but it's not. It's fundamental because the dealing with adversarial situation, who is always, which is always outside your system, is fundamental. And uh, Virgil Gligor said, no, no matter how much money you are going to invest in your computing devices, and even if the price is zero, you will still have uh, security problems. And it's secondary because we don't build computers. There's no computer industry there to build them just to secure themselves. That's not the goal of computation. Okay? And the same thing with privacy. Privacy is uh, fundamental issues because of human rights, civilization needs it. There's a philosophical uh, justification for privacy. But again, again, it's for secondary importance because nobody really collects data in order to, to just privatize it or anonymize it or aggregate it. You know, you, 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 you have other utility. Okay? So, from theory to actual uh, industrial deployment, you need to cross the, the chasm there. You know, for, for, for secure protocol, it took 40 years. For other aspects of privacy, which are much younger, this will take some time. And, uh, you know, they, they need to do it. They need to work on all the four layers, including the concrete, concrete one by real scientists is stronger nowadays because now we have big data collection we have cloud we internet of thing is coming you know everything is going to be on the internet learning model on on big data are coming so the the, the need for privacy is just growing and growing and growing and it cannot be that it will remain just a theoretical study of some structural applied mathematics uh, nature it has to come down and influence application otherwise we are not doing our job thank you I don't know if it's relevant or not, so, uh, but there's a... I, I didn't hear what you said, but it doesn't matter. I don't, I don't know if this is going to be a relevant question. I'm very naive. But... That's what I say. It may not be relevant. I hear the word relevant. So, <laughs> so um, in health economics, there is an analytic framework called value of information. I wonder if it's potentially relevant here. I, I, I am familiar with that, and that's motivated me for, for that okay. notion, but I, don't, but I don't know. I said I don't know. I think so. I mean, it strikes me that it might be. You know, so one of the major uses of it is to try and prejudge the, the value of a major investment in a trial. Right? So it, it says, yes. what's, what are you going to gain from reducing the confidence interval around a parameter in terms of its impact on health and all of the other economic benefits and possible harms and taking into consideration the, you know, that this uh, drug might be replaced by a better one 70 years down the road. We put all of those into the mix. And I know, I know risk analysis uses it and... and, and, and Standard risk analysis sort of things but plugged yeah. in with a fair amount of simulation of the different parameters that might affect the long-term cost-benefit analysis that seems to be like you might be able to apply it to what size epsilon you need for a given... Yes, so in, 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 uh, in evaluating security architecture, we exactly go to, to uh, this, this notion borrowed from economics, but I don't know how to apply it to, to, to data and privacy and, and really quantifying it. But, uh, but, but if at all this talk is a call for, 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 for uh, trying to, to bridge the, the gap between information theory, information value, economics, game theory, which may give us scenarios how to deal with, with, with data as it is. Yes. Is there anybody that's attempting, any organization that's attempting convening 
all of the above to try to solve some of these problems? Of course, the organization that I act with, I mean, this this does not come from thin air, it comes from me. So there, there, there are there are applications. So, sorry, I didn't mean I didn't mean it in that way. It's not boasting. It's just a natural answer. <laughs> Uh, yes, but there's another tendency, there's another tendency that some of the privacy innovations in industry are forced to remain private. <laughs> Because, because people say, OK, let's do this practice, but let's not publish it, or advertise it, or patent it. Because if it becomes uh, best practices and the regulator know about it, they will force us to do it in all areas. And we don't know yet how to do it in all, all areas. So, so the corporation does its own risk analysis and, and, and can keep a lot of knowledge in-house. And then there is fragmentation. Every company has a few people, so you know, I assume Google, Facebook, you know, they hire uh, Apple, they hire scientists also to deal with it. And, and then there are the, the smaller companies, and then how do they deal with it? I'm, I, I don't know. Is there a role to create an environment in which organizations can share among themselves without it being publicly shared until they figure out what really works and what doesn't? Because it seems like that's the, the big gap is that nobody's sharing their internal best practices, so they're duplicating the effort and not learning from each other. The risk is that they're forced to do things that maybe don't work or they don't want to do in different ways. So can can, you, can we create a, a safer environment for them to share knowledge and not duplicate effort? That's, this is this is a, a policy government and 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 and, uh, and, and uh, gov governance issues for cooperation. That is beyond me. But so in in in, in 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 theory, it's a good idea. In practice, it may not be implementable. I, I don't know. So part of the reason I ask them to take this offline is our mission as the Northeast Hub is to try to bridge the gap between academia industry and other sectors to create applied solutions. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's why this talk is here. <laughs> this is why I didn't talk about uh, kleptography or cryptography or whatever other... Yeah, my, my co-author <laughs> talked about it earlier. <laughs> um, I Can you go back to the slide with the, the four layers? Yeah, so maybe missing, I mean, I get the words there, but I yeah, yeah. It's, it was done in a rush, but so yeah, maybe yeah. you have a, a different. So, a, a, a see a role also for what we call it design layer, not, not the design of the applied algorithms part of but like, for instance, uh, let's look at your your current employer. No, 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 no. This is this is this is this is just the science part. Right. This is just a, of course it has a counterpart in R and D and in and in engineering that that says ah designer have to look at you know they 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 they. they, they here they they do the the major work. Here comes design, right. analysis, and design, but, and and. But, uh, but I guess I, what I'm going for is like sort of the, the the extent to which a privacy feature or security feature can be I mean can sort of be sometimes raised to be both fundamental and primary. You know, so, so, so of course, of course, of of course, of course. So. Content disappear versus a system that intentionally keeps yes, the content yes. in an archival. Form. I think all the all, all the engineering is in in, uh -huh. in the in these layers. Uh -huh. These are engineers that build tools, right. and these are engineers that build solutions. Mm -hmm. And of course, it has this analysis mm -hmm. and design and business. And it has many layers. I mean, it's hard and and, and deployment plan and, and 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 testing. You know, you, everything is here. I mean, it's it's enormous, but that, that's beyond the, that's beyond the science. Mm -hmm. But all I advocate here is that scientists also also push themselves to, right. to work in. It doesn't, have, it doesn't mean every scientist. It doesn't mean that uh, somebody who works on, on theory and, 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 and is 
right. is great in trying to prove that P is not equal in P, that it will go and do design. I mean, but 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 some people have to 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 do it, and I'm in, in industry to honestly deal also with this because of my broad interests. Yeah. That, that, that's all. Anything else? All right. Thank you.